Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. Today I'm going to do a little guide on how to gather efficiently um, and how to maximize your gathering time. Now, before I get started, I have a couple of codes in the description. One of them is for 25% off $100 worth of Amazon coins for the US Amazon App Store, and the other one is 25% off the large bundle of 50,000 coins, which is $500, and that would be $375 after the 25% off. So let's get into it. Now, how do you increase your gathering speed? There's a couple of ways. So one of the places to look is your research tree, um, and it's under the economy tree here, and you can increase your gathering speed can increase gathering one, gathering two, you know, all the way up and get some extra percentages in here. I haven't even maxed mine um, all the way out. You can get really far up there and you can get a lot of percentage out of this. So you can get a total of 40% here, 10% in the other tree, 5% in the beginning. Now the other place that you can get a major jump on this is in your talents. So in the economy tree, of your talents, there's food production, food gathering, there's every kind of gathering here, wood gathering, food gathering, um, all the way through. And you can see that I've got extra gathering speed here and more production, more gathering. So I've got a lot of gathering um, buffs in here. And I didn't go all the way to the end. Um, I probably could change it to get some extra silver gathering, but I thought that it was more useful for my secondary spec to have the stamina recovery here so you can hit more threats. Now, the other thing that you can do to increase your gathering speed pretty greatly is having on the right gear. Now, in the armory, there's this economy tab. And in the economy tab, these bottom sets are your gathering sets. Um, gathering and production. So the harvest set is the one that a lot of people are going to start with. And the pieces that increase gathering speed are the chest and the necklace. So you can see here that you get 12% from the necklace, 36% from the coat. And then you can also get from the next set up, which is the one I currently have. After it's maxed out, you can get 67% extra gathering speed there and another 22% here. So that helps greatly. Now, I want to show everybody how to gather and how to start gathering the right way. And a lot of things people don't know is that the guards you equip matter. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. So King Henry, for example, or Henry of uh, Montmorency, he's an aide. And you can see right here that when an aide is leading the march, gathering speed is increased by 50%. Now there's only four aides in the game, so you need to memorize who they are, and it's Henry, John Felton, Mousketon, and Planchet. So what I have for my gathering kind of default is I have a, a march that's set for cavalry, 20,000 cavalry that's over the, the minimum troop load, and then I just pick the guard I want and I send them. And I do it again, I pick the march, I pick the guard, and I send it. Now, an important thing here that people overlook or people don't know, the march gathering speed is tallied when your march lands on the tile. Okay, so as your march lands on the tile, is when it's calculated. Now my last ma my last march, I usually send just my you know default whatever it's going to get plus my airship because my airship will gather much faster than the other ones. So I want to show you an example here of what happens when you change your gear before your march lands on the tile, and you'll see a huge difference here, and we'll prove it to you in real time that you know the march matters when it lands, not when it's sent out. So here's our first one that's gonna land, and let's look at the time. 
So the time on this one, two hours and 55 minutes. So let's switch gear and we're going to wait for the next one to land and see kind of what happens there. And because I changed gear, I lost that 80 something percent gathering speed. So let's look at this, four hours and five minutes. So let's switch back and we'll let the other ones land. And you can see that they're at the two hours and 55 minutes. This one will be two hours and 55 minutes. And the last one, we'll speed this up for video sake. Now, because it's my airship, the airship has a huge gathering boost as you level it up. So my airship gathering will be even faster than the rest. So an hour and 15 minutes. Now, the last thing I want to show you is when you use the buff on your state for gathering speed, it recalculates all of your current tiles for your current equipped gear, spec, etc., to change march speed. And let me show you that. I'm going to put on my bad gear, my non-gathering gear, I should say, and I'm going to use the buff, and it's going to make my gathering time longer, even though I'm using a 50% buff. So watch this. I'm going to use the buff, and now my gathering changed to, you know, 3 hours and 20 minutes for all of them. But also see how it evened out that one that was four hours. Now let's change our gear again and overwrite that. And it's going to drop our march or our, our gathering speed by quite a bit here. So we'll overwrite this buff, we'll renew it, and watch what our gathering speed changes to. So our gathering speed changed to two hours and 30 minutes on the four that have special guards, and an hour and nine minutes for the one with the airship. So that is the proper way to maximize your gathering. Um, I don't even have mine all the way maxed out. I'm sure I could get faster than that. Plus, there's the new research. Um, and although it is very expensive, in the estate development tab, there's more resource gathering speed here and down here. So you could boost all of your resource gathering even further. All right, so that's it for this video. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.